Good, good. Very good morning. Uh, I hope it is clear, right? Which one? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, can you hear me? Fine, yeah. Uh, did you try testing the framework on your machine? On this one? No, I haven't done anything. On okay. It, to be honest. It's a do, different machine than the one I had. Uh, do you want to do it now? You want to try? Do a test ng? Yeah. Or do you want to, what's, what's the other one? Like today we're supposed to see the difference between the test, not test ng, like, you know. Today we have supposed to work on data provider, mm -hmm. how we can run with different set of data Mm -hmm. uh, using data provider, mm -hmm. using just one test case, how we can run it multiple times using uh, multiple set of data. We call it data-driven testing or uh, in test NG. Uh, this is very popular and different companies work on it. Mm. And it's a must skill for automation engineers. Now, uh, could you please share your screen? Uh, whether yeah, it's, a, it's a blank screen. There's nothing. Let me see. Let me show you what I have. Okay. Sure. Uh, we yeah. have to yeah, set up set up the environment at least, right? Okay. Yep. Okay. Um, this one, I think we set it up. I can show you how far I am. Okay. You are the host I mean, if you, now. If you can try it. Yep, yep. See my screen? Mm -hmm. Yeah, see what I have right here? Here's what I have. Okay. You know, so, I, tried, I tried the J units, you know. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's working, I think. But you have to put test annotation very close to your test method yeah right at the rate test at the rate test will be very close to public void yeah there will be no space yes okay sometimes it may not work if you put gate between test method mm -hmm. and test annotation mm -hmm. okay and uh, Okay, then I do like run by create, yeah, create a uh, create a separate met project. Create okay, create yeah, new, okay. new project. Mm -hmm. Go to. Mm, Maven. Maven, you have to type Maven first. Yes, mm -hmm. and then click on Maven project. Mm -hmm. and then click check in, create a simple project. Mm -hmm. Okay, and just Type the sample, yeah. yeah, it will be com dot nest. Okay, then artifact ID is the name of the project. You can say test ng project or test ng test framework. And project name will be capital. Oh. Test in the test, okay. Okay, test. Yeah. Yes. Test in G. In G. Test. Yeah. Framework. Okay. And then. Click on finish. Okay. Okay, you want me to go to Project Explorer? Yes. 
and now expand the project mm -hmm. you see there is pom.xml file so mm -hmm. inside the pom.xml file you have to create dependencies yep. tag opening tag and closing tag uh, just after the version yes dependencies and inside the dependencies could you please make it a little bigger it is control plus press control plus several times yes and you can just uh, pull the right uh, border sorry. to the right no okay yep sorry go now to maven yes maven repository right make the screen a little bigger this one um yes like make it as big as but this as big as possible no just pull the border of the canvas yes to the right yes good 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 and, and you can pull left yeah. border to the yes great okay okay now go to maybe repository mvn repository.com mvn not maven.com it should be mvn mvn mv mvn mm -hmm. repository yes the first link just type you need testing G yes Take seven five is good one good <clears throat> it's good <clears throat> just copy it just click and right button click copy paste you need web driver manager uh, before it you need um, selenium yes take the first one you can choose what any version there? any version is fine all are stable version right now and then you need a uh, web driver manager okay take five two, any five two three anyone initially when we work in the project we don't need to think about it our tests development manager usually test lead provide us all these dependencies okay so not dependencies just take dependency okay fine good okay good. and control is to install yeah i think it is installed downloaded and installed okay yeah, it's doing no. some stuff, right? yeah now go to your project click on your project you see maybe dependencies are already there now right button click on your project project yes go to properties or build path okay go to build path java build path mm -hmm. okay mm, you see in click on libraries 
click on add library uh, there is JUnit Maven and user library but we don't see test ng right mm -hmm. okay mm, refresh or right button click on test ng framework cancel yes cancel we cannot see mm -hmm. test ng here so test ng is not here yet so cancel, so cancel. Mm -hmm. refresh your project explorer refresh it okay right button click uh, refresh okay then right button click okay right button click go to run as go to run as there is no test ng here right okay so what do you have to do go to help right here yes um, eclipse marketplace go to click on eclipse marketplace mm -hmm. just type test ng for eclipse yeah install it still you don't have test ng uh, i thought you did it right here when we package. downloaded it Spanish. yeah we need also a plugin you know okay confirm we have now software for test ng we are using dependencies but we have to also uh, install this plugin accepts the terms and conditions if you don't find test ng okay then you have to download it we call it plugin piece of software okay then cancel <coughs> oh it's okay 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 installing uh, keep it Some computer comes with mm, test ng plugin. So okay, uh, click on always trusts all content. Mm -hmm. Check in yes. And then trust selected. Well, it is a fifty six percent. Oh, restart now. Say. You have to rejoin, maybe or oh, no? Okay, it's fine. All right, now go to the project. <coughs> mm. Mm, right button click. Mm. Now go to, oh, you see test ng is there now. On the bottom, you see? Oh you yeah. See? Yeah. Oh, so, create and convert, yeah. Yeah, so now we can see test ng is already there. Yeah, still you have to go to build path or properties go to build path and properties and then click on libraries uh, click on add library you see now test ng is there mm -hmm. go to next finish so 
you all set now uh, click on apply apply and close now you see testing is on your project look at the project explorer after maven dependencies there is test ng folder can you see yes mm -hmm. yes so now you are ready to work with test ng now go to src slash test slash java folder not this one on top on top yes this one right button click okay uh, create a package the name is test in the test cases or just test cases you can see test cases okay Again. right finish now inside the package you can create a test class and name it functional testing or functional uh, well you can say functional testing okay no problem and click on finish there will be no main method in testing the framework right. and so we, uh, since we will be using test annotation so now you can create a test framework skeleton you can create setup method you can create teardown method and in between setup and teardown method you can create different test methods mm -hmm. okay so type public void inside the class type public void public void setup set up okay this is method setup method uh, every method has parenthesis before curly braces you have parenthesis oh sorry okay and inside the parenthesis now you can uh, create test setup uh, you can say uh, web driver driver equal to web driver driver equal to new chrome driver chrome driver will be capital because it is class class is always in capital chrome driver d also capital and web driver d also capital and now you can import it import okay and you can import chrome driver also it's having issues oh yeah yes because you didn't put par semicolon. parenthesis and semicolon parenthesis also and, uh, because it is object yeah when you create new object there will be parenthesis also okay then you can go to the next line and say driver dot uh, uh, uh. no driver dot you see there are methods what mm -hmm. do you need you need get method gets get, get, get window. no gets only gets just type g type g oh right here right type g g yeah okay. you see get is there mm. Mm. okay 
enter load the web page and yeah and prompt browser. okay okay now here you will put your url of your web application that you are going to test which is dot com it should be like uh, https or ww okay www.hs.com we usually put https that works better https colon slash slash yes okay like like that okay then put a slash after dot com this is the best practice we usually mm -hmm. okay now execute it chrome driver will be invoked but still it cannot launch the browser it cannot go to uts.com because to how did you run it as a as a as a test ng test right button click okay to run test ng test you have to use test annotation first mm, okay okay I see. okay still so, uh, eclipse and java cannot connect with test ng because mm -hmm. only when you use the annotations the java program can understand it is test ng uh, okay so you have no, to you have to say mm, before public void setup you have to say before method all right okay. here yeah mm, yes before public void setup on top of public void setup mm -hmm. at the rate before method before method m is capital mm -hmm. okay and you have to no no you have to keep it close to capital no oh key. okay sorry no key yes yes and no, right. right click not sure. not yet you have to import it over over on before method before method okay mm -hmm. then then you have to create another method this is called test method okay go out of this scope setup method scope out of and type public void login functionality or login test login tests functionality tests mm -hmm. okay tests right okay then calibrates okay so you can just uh, now bring System dot out print Allen. See so control space bar, then press enter. Okay. Login functionality test. You can type login test. Okay. Login functionality test or login test. Now before you run this test as a test ng, you have to put test annotation mm -hmm. when Can you put, this put add before method? no in the second one public void login functionality test because this is the test case mm -hmm. add test method. yes when you put at the rate test test ng knows and java program knows you are running this as a test just at the rate test so, test okay. will be capital capital T 
Is it? Yes. He pulled it. Now it is test ng. Test ng. Oh. Okay. So right button click uh, and run is. Oh, I see. Oh, okay, see? I see. Yeah. Now I see. you have test ng test mm -hmm. icon. Now mm. click here. And it will run now as a uh, test ng tests. Okay. All right. Failure one still it is failure because uh, you cannot navigate to utils.com yet because to do it you need one more. Uh, that is uh, you have to use web driver manager. So inside the public void setup, you have to type web driver manager. No, no, on top of web driver, driver, yes. Right here on top? Yes, on top. It's right here? Yes. Web no. driver manager. Web W will be capital, driver D will be capital because it is also class driver manager M will be capital web driver manager is single word okay dot now chrome driver take chrome driver okay right here yes enter then dot setup okay now right button click right button click okay yeah right button click anywhere you see test oh now it's pure test ng yes In some, in some computer, still the dependencies may not work fine until you refresh the Maven dependencies. Your screen gone. Oh, really? Sorry. Right. right now. Okay, close it. I said in some computer still the dependencies might not work. If it happens, go to your project, click on your project, mm -hmm. click your project, right button, click and refresh. No, go to Maven, mm -hmm. okay, it may not work. Then, if it doesn't work, you have to update the project. Go and click update project. Like okay. that? Yeah. Then, yeah, it's updating. Right yeah. Here. And there is also one uh, selector you have to select. You have to check in force update. You know, uh, sometimes, uh, so yeah, sometimes, yeah. Go to the project, go to the project, test ng framework project, go to maybe. Update, click on update and see there is force update. update. Yeah, yes, force update. Then click OK. okay. It's doing something. Yeah, you? if it doesn't work on your computer, you have to do it. Okay, maybe yep. it's working fine on this computer. 
you are going to work on different computer and it's not working then you have to do it okay okay now i hope you can do it you can now set up tear down no after oh. test method you have to close the driver right right so you have to go to the out of the scope yes press enter and mm -hmm. type public void teardown teardown parenthesis yes you can now type driver and driver is not connected with because you have to set the driver in class scope instead right. of yeah you have to make it global so just copy web driver driver Work. Yes, web driver, driver, then semicolon. Web driver, web driver oh, driver. Driven. After Type driver, right no, 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 no. Uh. Web driver, driver, semicolon. Web driver, driver. So yeah. keep this line? Yeah, you have to keep this line inside the uh, setup method. You have to keep the. Oh, oh. Yeah. Have to keep? yeah, you have so, to. Okay. So now keep it this way. Just just take web driver driver. Yes. Take out web yes. Driver, driver? Yes. Web driver oh, driver. Okay, okay, okay. Copy and paste. Okay. Got it. Okay. That's it. Semicolon. Yeah. Semicolon. Now okay. you have to take out the web driver class from test setup. Take out uh -huh. web driver. Oh. Okay the class only the class web driver class okay that's it yeah 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 web driver only web driver oh, oh the word web driver yeah. okay i'm sorry web driver i'm sorry yes okay perfect now you are all set now you can type driver dot and see just take out dot and put dot again driver dot now you see close oh, yeah. is there uh, okay. close close C okay enter just press enter then mm -hmm. driver dot quit now what do you have to do driver dot plus driver dot okay. quits Perfect. Now just you have to write the Selenium codes uh, for the login functionality, right? Mm -hmm. Can you Based do? On, uh, can you do it? Objects. I think so. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, just. Uh, just yeah, I have to look at the look at the. Uh, you have to go back to the website. Yeah. And oh, sorry. You can close all the website now. Yeah, where is the U test? Uh, let me run it. Yeah, you can run. Refresh. Okay. Or you can just open manually. Oh, a new website, uh, U test. Mm -hmm. You can close all this application if you want. This one, you don't need it. utest.com make it bigger okay so to go to login first you have to click on login button right mm -hmm. okay so 
you have to take the elements from login button. Right. Yeah, go back. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, you have to click on inspector first. Yeah, I did. Inspector. Yeah. But the inspector is not working. Inspector is, is the small arrow icon. Oh, yeah, yeah, right here. yeah, when it becomes blue, then click back on login mm -hmm. button. Okay. Okay. Now you can take class. Okay. You can take class or you can create customize expert right that's the one we did yesterday yeah you know how to customize expert right now right uh, okay but, but walk me through it and see what happened okay just uh, press on control f yes mm -hmm. you see find string selector or expert just type here double slash double mm -hmm. slash then star star is asterisk just asterisk sign uh, asterisk okay okay then square braces mm -hmm. opening and closing mm -hmm. okay inside the square braces type at the rate at the, rate. at the rate sign like that one word no at the rate si sign sign oh okay okay, at, yes. okay. yeah okay then uh how you want to uh unauthenticated right that's the way we have how you said. want to yeah uh, how how you want to locate the elements just Click back on login, yeah. login. She so says unauthenticated and, nav bar underscore. Okay, not a problem. You see, there is class, right? Yeah. Take the class. Just take the mm, value of the class. Double click. Mm -hmm. Okay. And copy. Okay. Okay, go back and no no first take it out type mm -hmm. class type class e like equal to mm -hmm. then inside the single quotation put the value you copy yes mm -hmm. like that yes now you see oh, says, now says you, you see one-on-one -on -one means this is unique it can be used mm -hmm. until you find one-on-one -on -one, it will not work mm. okay one-on-one -on -one meaning this expert is unique and we can work with it if it says one of two one of three one of four meaning it will not work okay now just copy it Copy. Copy. Yeah, copy. The expert okay. you created, yes. Go back to your project. And now type driver dot find elements. Make a new method? No. Inside login functionality. Inside the login function. Login functionality. Yes, what you have to do is mm -hmm. sorry. Yep. So we got this one right okay. here. I copy and paste. Yeah, you copy it, right? Now go to your project. Go to your test case. Uh -huh. Test case. Okay. okay here's that test. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, go inside of it. Inside of it. After system.out.println. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Okay. Type driver dot find element. Driver dot F. You see, find element. Okay. Press enter. Mm-hmm. Enter and okay. okay. In in inside null, you have to first mention the locator. What locator are you taking? You are taking X path, right? Mm -hmm. So just just take it out. You have to say by X path first. By B Y. Mm -hmm. By B will be capital because this by is class. Mm -hmm. By dot dot x path x you see x path is there okay yes and inside Bring x path yeah x just just path. inside the double quotation put the x path you customize yes so inside so close with yes then what action you took to go to login functionality you have to click right mm -hmm. so use the method click dot no 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 oh, 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 at, at the okay. end dot oh, wow. dot click you see second one okay wow. enter then you have to terminate the program with semicolon semicolon that's good yeah now execute it in tests whether it works you can just write, write no you don't need it right button click Run as test in the test. You see, it clicked, right? Mm -hmm. So it's working fine. Now you have to test this sign in functionality, login functionality, right? Mm -hmm. So, how you can do it? First, you have to again. Uh, go to users.com and take find out element for username email address okay so right button click okay yes uh, click on inspector and then click back on email address okay then you see there are several locators one is class another locator is id another locator mm -hmm. is name okay mm -hmm. you can take anyone or you can uh, create your own expat Control. Yeah, better practice creating expat. Okay, so so remove the expat you created, or or just you can remove the class. Right. Yeah, yeah. At the rate and class, class ID. or ID. Okay, ID equal to mm -hmm. equal to. Just take no the space. ID, no space, mm. but there will be not username, right? It, no, you have to put yes, but username will be in between single quote, single quotation. Yes, so one of one, so perfect. Now crochet is expert in creating expert in creating expert, right? Expert, yeah, I think so, yeah. You know. I have 
I have to practice it. I mean, I'm, okay. I think I know. In place of star, you can put the tag name. Okay. The tag. Yeah, tag name is input here, right? Like class input. Yeah, input. 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 Okay. input. But you can use also star. Okay. Just um, copy it now. Then driver dot find element. And it's by expat. By dot expat. Okay. And paste the expat. Close with quotation mark. There will be no space. Then dot. What are you going to do here? You are going to pass parameter. Parameter is your email address. So send keys. To pass parameter, we use send keys method. Yes. Mm -hmm. And in place of now, you are going to send parameter. It is your email address. Koshe at gmail.com, say for example, at gmail.com. Okay. Then, what field are you going to, no, no dot, just, just one condition, then semicolon. Then, you can copy the last line. Okay, yep. copy. Find the password. Yeah, yeah right. right. So you can copy and paste. Okay, just take out the export. Take out the export. The value of the export. No, just take out the value of the export. Yeah, right here. Yeah. Okay. Well, because, find yeah, one. right. Go back. Right button click. Okay. So what are the locators are there? There is again name, there is ID, and there is class. So you can again uh, take expat. How you can pay? Just you have to copy the password and put password. Uh, in place of username. Yes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What did I do? Paste. You see, one of one, meaning now it's good. Okay. Go back and put it in send case you are sending password say for example password is cosa123 okay then you can now execute and test whether it is working fine whether parameter are being passed is it going to lock my account? Like yesterday, remember you had issues? Yeah, after lock. three times. Do you have accounts? No, no. Okay. It stopped. It didn't do anything. It didn't click. It didn't click? No. Okay, it should. You want me to run it again? Like yeah, no, 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 no. You see, you put... You keep uh, space in between class and uh, equal sign. In your expat, you cannot keep any blank space. Right here. The first one, the first one, the first line. Right here? Yes. Expat, you created expat, you see? Uh, right. After class, you have space. 
After class. After oh, class. Yes, yes. Oh, I see. And also another space. You cannot put space. Mm. Okay. Right button click. Run the test again. Did it give you an error indication that there's a space? No, but this is convention. How, how did you figure it out? Uh, I just look at it because yeah, it is not clean. It's not being clicked means something wrong on this uh, mm -hmm. elements. So I look at the elements. Okay. Right button click. Testing you? Yeah. Uh, okay. Right, it worked. And pass the parameter also. So, the last action you have to take is sign in. Okay? Yeah, this button right here. Yeah. There's going to be some kind of a click function. Yeah, you can take the first line. You can copy. Yes, copy and paste. <coughs> Semicolon. Mm -hmm. Okay, now just take out the value or export. Okay, right button click. Okay, click that. Sign in. Mm -hmm. Then Name you see ID and there is ID and name. You can take anyone. You can name. take class or name. ID or ID. KC. Yeah. Yeah. Just copy KC login. Or you can type also. If you are confident. Some people when they type they yeah, type they very make Yeah, they type very quickly and maybe uh, they will type KCC dash login and it will not work casey login no, no. yeah 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 you have to take the class also you see yeah no still there is less less star class you have to take it out oh oh it's id okay i'm sorry Some more. ID. Only one star. That ID, okay. Yeah, now fine. Now fine, okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. So, this is framework, right? Now, you can also test uh, title tests okay you can create another test method you can even stay yeah with add tests enter public void test title or title tests there will be no curly braces between at tests in public board. Yes, public boy test title title tests. Okay, title. test title tests. Oh, Lord, please. Yeah. Test will be test will be T will be capital. Okay, it's a method, test method, mm -hmm. curly braces. Mm -hmm. Now you can say driver dot get title. 
get tidal. One word. Mm, one word, but tidal. You see, just just you type driver dot, mm -hmm. and it will pop up. Driver dot G. Just type G. No, get tidal. Yeah. Okay. And then mm -hmm. semicolon. Mm -hmm. So, to get the title, either you have to print it, or what you can do, you can store driver dot get title in a variable, okay? Mm -hmm. And this variable will be string definitely because title will be in string. So you can type before driver, you can type string equal to before driver, before driver, before driver. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In front of driver. Okay. In front of driver. In front of okay. String is capital S. Sorry. Capital S. String. STR. Okay. You can say STR or you can directly say title. Or this is actual title, right? Okay. Now you can print actual title and see what is it. Print actual title. When you print actual title, what will uh, be printed? It will be printing uh the title of the web application right mm -hmm. now you can uh, make it better present people you can say the actual title is class actual title okay the actual title is so it will be within you yeah. within uh, quotation. The actual title is will be within quotation, right? Yeah. Okay. Plus. Okay. Yeah. Now execute it and see whether it is printing the title of the web application. Execute the test. This is second time running and now check it didn't close why we don't have a close oh yeah no, we have we have, have, we have close and quit it should be close and quit okay now did it it's out the, the actual title you see the actual title is professional network for testers okay wonderful now you know this is actual title now you can use a shot you, you can use a shot yeah a shot assert okay yeah yeah inside the te title test method mm -hmm. after actual title right no oh after you print it out yeah mm -hmm. now you can say uh, one more press enter press enter one, press enter press one more enter yeah okay Two enters like yes that. yes yes shared a will be capital in test ng it is capital Actually, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Dawn. Yes, sir. Equals. Single quote. Yes, sir. Equals. Oh, a certain quote. Yeah, you have to import it. Equals right here, right? Yeah. 
yes okay now yes sir it's, uh, i think it is imported right um i don't see any issues okay so you see when you hover over on false the first one is actual actual and the second one is expected actual okay, actual it. actual is actual title mm -hmm. right which is yep which is this guy that professional yeah so actual is actual title thus you put actual title in place of false which is right here no no actual title Oh, okay, 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 yeah, yeah, because I'm storing it. Yeah, in that. Okay, yeah, okay, I see. Actual title. Okay. okay. Now, expected will be. Like, who says. Yeah, you can what, say. You website. can say. Yeah, of course, your website. In, yeah. But it will fail, right? Because, right, because of course, website not is not equal. Equal will be the professional network for testers. Right. Okay. You are expecting the professional network for testers. We can find expected, actually, uh, expected title is known to us. Even we can right button click, go to uh, back of the website and find the expected uh, title you know how to do yeah go back. yeah go back okay now click on html uh, click on head yes head yeah uh, okay, expand now. it you see you can find somewhere here look at the title right here title okay you see the professional network for testers this is your expected just double click double click and copy control C yeah okay you're right here yeah okay now it will pass. Mm -hmm. If you just omit S, it will not pass. It will fail. All right. Yeah. Okay. No. It didn't close. Yeah, something Why the closing something something not... wrong. Okay. Mm -hmm. mm, let's two passes. Let's see what's wrong. So actual test here. Yeah. Login functionality and title test. Yeah. So it... where's that third value? Does it say whether that shirt has executed, I mean, it has to be executed, right? Yeah, I guess it did. Otherwise, it haven't been completed, right? Yeah. Is it title test is passed? Meaning it passed. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right, right. Okay, got it. Okay. So it executed all the three statements. Yeah. Correctly. Now you can go to driver.quits. Go to driver dot quits. Go to driver dot right. quits. Okay. And press on end button end. And and like Nancy. Yes. E N D. Okay. No. Oh, and. no. Okay. Click on yes. Mm -hmm. Press enter. Mm -hmm. System dot out print Allen. See so control spacebar. 
then the Thai test successfully completed. Now, if test successfully completed is printed, mm -hmm. teardown is working. Though it is not closing the browser. So, do you keep this space or do you take it out? Uh, we keep space. When we assert, we keep one space. Mm. And another thing you can do, you can go to... Setup method. Go to setup method. Okay. And uh -huh. after driver dot get https utils dot com, go after uh -huh. it, then press enter. Uh -huh. Okay. You can say driver dot manage 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 like that. Yes. Dot. Uh -huh. What are you going to manage? You are going to manage window. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, expanded. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then. Maximize. Maximize. Right button click and execute it. Control space. Save it or? Oh, you can save it. Expand it, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. But it's not closing. Something wrong. Okay. So, did it print out that statement? It never printed out. Not printed, right? Mm -hmm. Not printing test successfully completed. So, driver.close and driver.quit is not working. Uh, uh -huh. Could you please retype driver dot close and driver dot quit? Like that? Yeah. Like that? Yes. Is there is there um, space between tear down and parenthesis? Could you please check? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. There's a space between the curly brackets, which is doesn't matter. Okay, yeah. Um, and could you please go to setup method? Another problem is maybe I guess what you did you are using public void setup then calibrates after setup method okay if you use like this usually Java mm -hmm. Java by convention it should be like this but in re reality, we use calibrations after the test method. You have to choose either one. If you want to do like this, you have to do it everything in your project. Everywhere, right? Yeah, everywhere. Yes, yeah, mix yeah. and matching. Yeah, so, yeah, okay, I will do this one. Okay, no problem. Okay, so you can choose either one, but you cannot, you cannot mix it up. Matches. Yeah, okay. Now, just save it and try to run it. Let's see.
Yeah, it's still the windows. Yeah. Okay. Just type on Google. Type on Google. Go to Google. Type. Mm-hmm. Oh. Implicitly weigh in selenium. What is it? Just type implicitly weight in selenium. Increasingly? Implicitly. Implicitly. What is it? Implicit. I am. Impli. P L. P L. P L. P L. I. Yeah. Explicitly, In- uh-huh. implicitly, wait, wait, wait. Mm-hmm. In selenium. selenium. Okay, just click here. Go down. Go down, 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 down. No, oh, I don't see anything. Okay, go, right. You see, driver manage timeouts implicitly wait 10 seconds time, unit seconds. Just copy this slide. Mm-hmm. The syntax, copy, go back, and paste it inside the setup method. Driver setup, maximize then here, yes. What we are saying here? Oh, what happened? Uh, it says it is deprecated. Maybe deprecated means selenium. Uh, anymore, you yeah, n- no more in use. Okay, no problem. Right. So, could you please hover over in timeout time unit? Right here. No, no, no. Time unit. Okay. Import time unit. Okay. Okay. Though it is deprecated, it will work, I think. Mm. Okay. Uh, now, why we use manage timeouts and why we are using implicitly wait? We are using implicitly wait because some elements. Locating sign elements takes time. Uh-huh. Uh, it might take 5 to 10 seconds. If I put driver.manageTimeouts.implicitly wait 10 seconds, meaning uh-huh. if it takes time to locate the element, it will take five seconds say for example it will wait five seconds when it can locate the element then it will run automatically okay now you can run the test let's see keep it the edges but I didn't okay wait ten seconds right do you want to make yeah. it five or four just keep ten, ten seconds, seconds. Too much, right? But it will not wait 10 seconds. If it mm. can find the elements within 2 seconds, it will keep going. Mm. Give it a shot. Yep. not working anyhow okay let me try with my one do you want me to give you a screen yeah i stop sharing okay okay you're the host right now I'm the host. I'm not sure how long this 
session is going to last, but we're going to break soon. Okay. Um, three minutes. Okay. Three minutes is enough, I think. Can you see my screen? Yeah, yeah, it's coming up. Yep. How is your job going on? So far, so good. You, yep. have, you enjoy it, right? Yeah. Okay, great. You working remotely? Yeah, yeah. Well, I go partial three days. Okay. One day with the office. So your your office is in. Ten minute drive. Florida. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, there's a hurricane right now, so. Let's see whether it works. You can see my screen, right? Yep. Oh, she says that after. Does it matter? Oh, you didn't say after? Let me see. Definitely. Definitely. It's matter. After method. There should be after method. After is in okay, share your yeah, screen. Yeah, yeah, I never said that after. Okay, so it's not working. Uh, selenium after, cannot uh, selenium cannot understand if yeah, you don't, I don't know where you're talking okay. about the method is it works fine, you know? Method is working fine but it's not executing. Exactly. Okay. Let me run it again. You yeah. Ask, and I can yes. Run it. I can share my screen. Sure. So I added that after right here, but after method, not after. You see, after is in J unit. Yeah, but I need I need no, change it right no, here. No, you after method. You have to type after method. Oh, after method. Okay, got it. Okay. After method. Method. Oh, oh, the word method. Okay. Yeah. No parenthesis. Method M is capital. No parenthesis. No parenthesis. Why? Okay. Now you have to import it. But see, this one we did add test only. We didn't say add test method. Oh yeah, add before method. Okay, got it. Okay. When you use before method, you have to end with after method. Okay. Okay. And test annotation is only for the test cases. Because this method is test case. Mm. We have two test cases here. Okay. Now you can add more test cases. You can have 10 test cases. You can have 20 test cases. This, uh, this framework is so powerful. Mm -hmm. You can test the whole system with one framework if you want. Okay, now, now just run it. Let me run it again. The first test case is running. Mm -hmm. They closed it. Yes. Perfect. Okay, now question. In testing, you know, there are lot, lots more features and test annotations than JV. Mm -hmm. You see, there are two test cases. Mm -hmm. For the first test cases, opening the browser and after the test, closing the browser. Mm -hmm. And for second test cases, browser also opening and mm -hmm. closing. Two times opening, two times closing. So if there are 50 test cases, browser will be opening 50 times and closing another 50 times, right? Mm -hmm. And it takes 
three seconds to five seconds to uh, run every test cases if there is 50 test cases it will take 50 into six seconds so around so why, why why it run like okay you have two test cases right here right yeah so why it goes from here and then it jumps to the after method and then goes back again and because done. you choose it you choose it you say it hey test engine do it open browser after each test case you run and close the browser after you test every test cases because you say oh, before method. before method and after method, method. Oh, yeah. if you say before class and after class Mm -hmm. Only one time browser will open uh, and close browser one, uh, I one see, time. I see. So you can use before class. Okay. Yes. Before class meaning whatever test cases inside this functional testing class open browser once and close browser once you understand me yeah now run only one time browser will open after testing all test cases test methods mm -hmm. it will close the browser one time so this is the best practice we use before class and after class mm -hmm. Even some company might not like this uh, strategy. Mm -hmm. Your boss might tell you, hey, Koshi, I don't want you to run 50 test cases in one class. I want to keep five test cases in each class. Say, for example, he's saying you. So you are doing functional testing login functionality in one class and testing test title with it and also uh, you are uh, logout functionality and sign out functionality in different class say for example okay in that case your two classes is under test suits right test suit in one test test cases package in that case you can say before suit and after suit meaning all the class will run before uh, if there is 10 classes before running 10 class it will open browser once and close browser once and run all the test class you understand it mm -hmm. okay fine so if you can do it now you have to improvise this test framework now as i told you there is no best solution every best solution has better solution right right so this is test ng framework uh, like 70 80 90 percent companies are working on test ng framework and mm -hmm. they are using this simple test framework now if you want you can take it to the next level we call it intermediate level okay and we can improvise it how we can use data provider annotation okay it will use multiple data multiple sets of data and test the login functionality with multiple data you can use positive data you can use negative data okay how well, yeah 
it's now telling you you cannot test again and again on this application okay all right now it really doesn't matter now before after class okay before after class creates data provider before and after is it yeah. before after before after before after yes okay okay sorry sorry okay just type string type string mm -hmm. then square braces twice twice no you have to go out of square braces okay, okay. another square braces like that yeah it will be close to each other mm. no space yes mm -hmm. then go out of it type login data a space then login data login like that yes mm -hmm. data d will be capital mm -hmm. then parenthesis it will be close to login data because it is yes method. yeah it is a uh, working as a method then calibrasis calibrasis okay inside the calibrasis type again string data string then data like that. yes then two square braces yes close it will close to each other mm -hmm. equal to equal to curly braces mm -hmm. close curly braces inside this curly braces you will put multiple data your username and password username and password it can be positive you know correct username correct password correct username incorrect password incorrect password correct username you can put mm. multi set of data mm. where variable inputs yeah right? so why are you writing username here <laughs> Just, just, just take it out. Okay. So, inside the calibrations, now you can another calibrations. Put another calibrations. Close calibrations. No, no, not like this. What do you want to do? Yeah, just put calibrations. Okay. Just put together. Calibrations put together. Uh, okay, okay. Sorry. Like that? Yes. Even you can put in one line. Usually we put one line, but you can put separately. Inside this calibrations, put username. Username is username is your email address right username is Which your one? email address you know email address is koshe koshe at gmail.com yeah koshe at gmail.com so it will be within inverted comma inverted comma within inverted comma inverted comma what is that one like single comma no Double oh, apostrophe, okay. Okay, single quote? No, double quote. Koshe at gmail.com will be inside double quote. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is your username, then mm -hmm. comma, after dot com, go comma, 
and your password is koshe123 say for example okay password123 no problem now go out of the curly braces don't put space in don't put any space okay then comma put comma mm -hmm. again uh, curly braces another set of data mm -hmm. it can be koshe one at the gmail.com say for example okay at the gmail.com then comma password is a b c d one two three four one two three okay one two three no no space in between yes another set of data say for example so close curly braces then open curly braces again but, okay. comma then third data abc at the gmail.com password abc1234 close parenthesis okay now why there is a red mark could you please hover over your mouse there syntax error insert comma semicolon yeah semicolon yeah. yeah no 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 after the curly braces after right the here. curly braces yes mm -hmm. okay now now it's showing it's showing it's showing red mark because this is data provider we are providing data so you have to say at the rate data provider on top of string at the rate data mm -hmm. no data 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 mm -hmm. data provider P will be capital. P will okay. be capital. In parenthesis. Parenthesis. Inside parenthesis, you have to say. Uh, what do we have to say? Name of the data provider. You have to say name. Name equal to, say for example, users. Name is data. Yeah. Name is user or data, whatever. You can say name equal to mm -hmm. name equal to data. Okay, it will be within inverted comma. Like that, double yeah. quote or single yeah. quote? Double quote. This is a uh, convention when you you have to import it. Uh, when you why login data is saying red mark. Okay, we will fix it. Don't don't worry. Um, actually, it's matter of convention. You know, in programming language, when you use double code you have to use always double code when you are using single code you have to use always single code oh i see so if you're using double code you cannot use here single code okay now uh -huh. actually uh, data provider this data provider is 
Yeah, we can do it also. We can do it also. We will do it later on. Yeah. Yeah, we can do it. We will do it later on. Maybe next week. Okay. This is another level. So now you have to connect this data with the test annotation mm -hmm. with test method you are going to connect with this data and use this data to test the test case or test annotation for which test annotation we create this data uh, login data. Again. now Data again, we have to test this test data. Yeah, we want to test a test case or test method with this multiple set of data, right? Mm -hmm. Now you have yeah. to connect connect this data provider with the test method you are going to use. For which test method we are going to use it? For title test or test login functionality? Login yeah, functionality. Now. Okay. Now you have yeah. to you have to Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Now go to login functionality first. So inside the test annotation put test put, annotation, okay. Yeah, test annotation put uh, parenthesis. Mm -hmm. After test, oh, after test. Okay. 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 Now you have to tell where is your data. Just type data provider, and this data provider is in small cap. P will be capital. Equal to, you have to mention the name. You name it for data provider annotation. What is name? Just name is data. data. Yeah. <laughs> so say What's between data and data here, data here. They're the same or different? This is different. This mm. is so name. The string. This is name of the data provider just. Mm. Okay. So name data, data provider data. Uh, in no, no spaces. No spaces or you can keep space, no problem. And data will be inside quotation mark and this data provider data will be small d oh, yes. because this data provider is just a parameter of test annotation mm -hmm. okay now what you have to do you have to say uh, login public void login functionality okay you have to you have to put parameter inside login functionality method go to method inside parenthesis right right so inside parenthesis inside parenthesis login functionality inside parenthesis, inside parenthesis. Yeah. Okay. just type string mm -hmm. like that no type string 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 okay. string s is capital mm -hmm. no inside mm -hmm. inside of it uh koshi can we take a five minutes break? We can call it today, you know. Huh? If you want to do it. No, no. We no. can call it no, today. No, no, I want yeah, to complete we'll... it. Okay. Give yeah, me take, five let's minutes. take five. Yeah, let's take okay. five. Yeah. Okay, no, no, no. Type string. Type string. String, string, string is. String. Yeah, string is data type, so it will be capital S. String. Okay. Just. 
say no user 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 string user mm -hmm. mean meaning usually okay then okay. comma mm -hmm. string pass just type string pwd 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 okay okay now what you passing inside same keys koshi at the gmail.com right right so now go to send keys send keys go to send right. keys now it will be user koshi at the gmail.com will be user just take everything everything take everything even quotations okay just put user okay and password will be pwd take one no just take one of uh, yeah now run the tests and see the data provider is working you have to practice at least three times to <laughs> become expert on it Hey, I mean, yeah. So, so one time, one time passes. Pass one. It says it skips one. Skips one. Which one skips? Okay, okay. I see. Login data. Uh, login data is. Uh, let me see what's wrong. Is it void string? No, 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 no. String is data. Just let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see in a hold what's happening. Okay, what you have to do, you have to say return data after, okay, go, go, yes, after, after, after uh, calibrations, after calibrations, yeah, go out of, go out of it, yeah. mm -hmm. no, 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 uh, keep the semicolon, mm -hmm. okay, yes, here, return data. Just you have to return, say return data. You want to return the data. Okay. Mm -hmm. And close. Yeah. Now gone, right? Now it will work. Yep, they start shutting me down. Yeah, because we tried more than three. Login test. You see past. All run past. Failures four. <laughs> run for failure four. Yep, I have to wait 24 hours. Yeah, yeah, it's failure because it didn't give us access. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anyway, it's working fine. Uh, do you understand the concept? Yep, yep. Look like, yeah, about the frame and, and, and about the data provider. That's a new thing. Yep. That's a new thing for today. Yep. Uh, Look like, yeah. And even you can make uh, it. Just sit down and. Yeah. You, uh, could you please remove this uh, box? It's popping up on my side. Oh, oh sorry. Okay. Even you yep. can just put it inside one line if you want like but it's fine it looks good mm -hmm. so to grasp this concept maybe you need to mm -hmm. practice several times okay yeah yeah testing you with need to find some time to practice yeah 
Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Yeah. And next week we are going to work with more advanced concepts that you are talking about at the very beginning. Okay. All right. Yep. And next week we are going to complete test ng. And once you understand test ng, BDD cucumber is just like one, two, three. Okay. Thank you so much. Yep. And you know how to how to uh, skip the test, right? Can you skip the second test? Right, false. I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll play with it. Can you do it now? Skip the first uh, test number two. Yeah, yeah. title test. Yeah. Right. So skip the title test. test. Title test. Yep, title. So you will go to uh, at the red test inside the test annotation, not here. Inside the test annotation. Oh, inside. Okay, yeah. Yep, enable. Enabled. In a bold, in a bold, in a bold, D, false, in a bold, D, in a bold. Yep, sorry. Okay, and this will be close to tests annotation. Yeah, it's going to break because it's not going to let me in. Yep. Yeah, okay. So test annotation and the uh, parenthesis will be close to each other. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Thank you. That's all Take for today. Away, Thank you so much. I'll see you next week. Inshallah. Inshallah. All right.